This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. Yeah. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, some more old school type hydraulics. Uh, this is kind of some classic stuff here behind me, but uh, I was just going to show you some of the differences compared to a modern pump. So let me talk about uh, these pumps that were pulled out of the Caprice. So. Uh, these were from the 1990s. They originally started their life as uh, Red's Pro Series uh, pumps. Uh, over time, um, what ended up happening was I just upgraded the end caps. I changed out the pump heads uh, with ported ones from Porky's, which I'll show you guys that. Um, and they also came with these MDY7070 motors uh, by Presto Light. Uh, Presto Light were extremely reliable motors. Uh, one little mod that I did on those was drill out the uh, the end caps so they could just breathe. Um, but other than that, other than the paint and the, the end cap, that's uh, pretty much stock. So as you can see, it's a Presto Light MDY 7070 12 volt motor, uh, and these were. The desirable motors to have back in the day all right so first thing that you're going to notice is on the back of the motor it has uh, flathead screws on the back compared to a modern pump that has 10 millimeter um, hex head screws on it so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, unscrew both of these screws and uh, we're going to remove the end cap and the bolts, and then we'll gently remove the motor from this pump. Okay, just unscrew that. Oops. Okay, there's one. So we're loose, and we'll crack the other one loose. Oop. I'm going to need both hands, so give me a moment and I will get that. And uh, both of the screws are out, so we're just going to gently take off this cap. And uh, there's the cap. You'll notice that there is no uh, ball bearing. It's just a friction bushing in the back, so we'll just put that aside. Uh, in, in this case, we got pretty lucky. Um, these motors actually need to be cleaned out, um, but you can see that um, you know they, they're in pretty good shape. The brushes are in good shape, and that leads us to removal. So another common thing that you see in uh, newer pumps is the 16 to 9 couplings. Um, this is a 16 to tang. And uh, what was nice about these was if you deadheaded the pump, these would break before you'd blow a pump head. Uh, so that was a really nice feature to have on these uh, old pumps. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll continue breaking this down. So next we'll undo the, uh, the nuts that hold the tank on, and then I'll get to show you guys the pump head. And using this uh, 10 millimeter 3 8 Met wrench, uh, we're gonna take the, uh, the nuts off of these tank rods. All right, so these uh, these nuts are loose. Um, so I got all those. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to point out is uh, where the motors are actually drilled out. It's very different on modern blocks uh, where it's in a different position. Um, so that's kind of interesting how that is on these. Also, you'll notice the, uh, the seals are actually still good in this. It's actually dry other than uh, just looks like some gunk in there but uh, that can all be wiped down so that's not a big deal so what I'm gonna do is uh, flip this tank and I'm gonna put it on its end upright that way I can undo this without making a huge mess with the tank 
I'm actually in shock how dry this is um, for that not to leak after all these years. So the car was last used, the hydraulics, in 2008. Um, and the car sat for quite, quite a while. Um, so that's surprising. I got the nuts off. So at this point, I'm just going to lift this block and lift it out of the tank. The tank off, you can see this sludge in the oil and uh, this metal metal bits. So obviously this needs to be cleaned out. So that's all sludge from the bottom of the tank. And uh, I accidentally opened up one of the rear pumps so you can see this 90 degree fitting to pick up oil for the larger rear cylinders. So I'm gonna button this one back up and I'm gonna show you guys uh, one of the front pumps that's ported. So this is a Fennerstone pump head. Uh, it's a number six, you can tell so by the part number PN106. And you can also tell it's a number six by uh, this middle part of the, uh, the pump head. Um, on a number eight gear, the middle section would be a lot wider uh, on that. So you can definitely tell this is a number six. Again, this one was in the rear of the car. I have 14 inch cylinders, so that's why we made that bigger pickup to get more oil uh, into those cylinders for three wheeling. Here's what I wanted to show you guys. So this is a ported um, Porky's pump head. This one has a PN206 on it. It's still a number six gear. You can tell by the uh, thin wafer in the middle, um, but it has a huge opening on the front of it and it's not threaded on this one. So this was definitely on the front of the car. Uh, other notable things to point out. So Fennerstone gears are fixed clearance gears. Um, the newer Mazachis, they produce more pressure, but they work uh, on a principle called pressure balanced. Um, and what ends up happening in the Mazachis is over time, the pressure on one side of the gear is pushing down, starts galling the uh, aluminum center wafer on the, uh, the Mazachis. Now, the Fennerstones are known for reliability. Um, combined with that Tang style coupler, uh, these are pretty much bulletproof pumps uh, because that tang coupler will break before the gear will break. Now, some of the older setups, like I remember Pro Hopper at one point, uh, was doing the 16 to 9 with, uh, I think, Seiko motors. And um, they'd have a tendency for the center wafer to actually just split open and break. Um, so that's something that can happen with that style uh, gears. But just wanted to show you guys this. And uh, the Porky's had probably some of the best pump heads. Not really for hopping, uh, but definitely uh, just some good quality stuff. So before I button up uh, this pump, the other thing that I wanted to note um, is these blocks are a lot wider, um, probably by a quarter of an inch compared to modern ones. Uh, they're exactly the same width. Uh, the ports are in exactly the same spot. The uh, air pressure is in exactly the same spot, returns in the same, like it's all pretty much the same except the block is wider um, on this particular block. Uh, if I was going to rebuild this, obviously it would need a new seal behind the pump head. Uh, I would need a new tank o-ring. I'd need to clean out the motor and uh, all that. And uh, that's pretty much what's in a, uh, a gate style pump. Now this is a modern gate, uh, so it was built for low riders. It's not a true lift gate pump, uh, but it's one of the earlier uh, style pumps. So it originally started its life as a Reds Pro Series system, and then uh, things were upgraded, changed the pump heads. Um, it did come with the MDY 7070 motors. Um, but, you know, it, it was a very reliable setup. Um, the modern stuff, it's cheaper parts, uh, although you get some better performance. And uh, there's a lot of just like the motors are just throw away the modern ones. Uh, the nice thing is about these MDY motors is they can be rebuilt and I've done that before. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video about a little bit of uh, lowrider history, be sure to give this video a like. If you have questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.